Welcome to Amplify with Jess Ekstrom, a show designed to help women get out of their head and into their zone of influence. Happy Monday, everyone. Here's some food for thought to start your week. Do you ever feel like if you don't get this one thing, then you're missing the entire train? If you don't get the role, hit the milestone, take the opportunity or whatever that like singular outcome is, then you've missed it and it's never going to present itself again. This kind of brings me back to this idea of that we talked about last time of fear of missing out. I used to struggle a lot with FOMO. So much so that I would burn myself out by saying yes to everything just because I didn't want to miss any chances. And I think there's a phase in our life, maybe for me it was under the age of 30, where saying yes to everything can be really beneficial. Saying yes without any agenda and wanting to create as many, I like to call them collision points as possible for like just as many unpredictable opportunities And I think that that is great if you're in that season. But then that yes mentality turns from a like wondrous seize the day mindset to more of an anxious like, shoot, I better say yes because I don't want to miss it mindset, which that isn't fun. So saying yes starts to feel like a chore. And if you say no, then you're up at three in the morning wondering what could have been. Well, I'm about to tell you something that really helps silence this FOMO that I had when I would say no to things. And I hope it does the same for you. You will never miss what's made for you. And you might be rolling your eyes right now, but I think if you truly believe that you'll never miss what's made for you and you exercise your mindset and your actions around that belief, what it's going to do is that it's really going to power your autonomy of choice in your life. It's going to help you focus on more of your values instead of just spreading sand in the desert and trying to say yes to everything. And then it also will diminish that feeling of regret. We've all heard of actors just like turning down these like huge roles that ended up being big. Jim Carrey turned down Elf. Tom Hanks turned down Jerry Maguire, which I could never picture Tom Hanks as Jerry Maguire. Or Julia Roberts turned down Sleepless in Seattle. John Travolta turned down Forrest Gump. That's another one. I'm like, could you imagine John Travolta as Forrest Gump? And then Paul Rudd turned down a role in The Hangover. And you might hear these and react like the way I did when I first heard them of like, what were they thinking? They missed this role of a lifetime by saying no. But I actually listened to this interview with Paul Rudd on Armchair Expert recently, and he was talking about turning down The Hangover. And The Hangover was like one of the highest grossing trilogies of all time. But he made this really interesting point as him and Dax were talking about roles they turned down that ended up being big. Paul said that, The Hangover is successful because of the casting. Zach Galifianakis, Bradley Cooper, Ed Helms, and Justin Bartha. It worked. Who knows if Paul Paul Rudd was cast, if it would have had the same magic. Plus, what did Paul Rudd do during the time that he wasn't filming, filming The Hangover that led to other great things? All of these movies that I listed became hits because of who's in them, not because of who turned them down. So you will never miss an opportunity that's made for you. So don't worry about turning down the next Hangover trilogy. This is why determining what you want your success to look like and what your core values are can be this guiding light in your decision making and diminish this fear of missing out. So I will leave you with this. Become so confident and clear in who you are and what you're made for that deciding between opportunities is like deciding if you want mayo or mustard on your sandwich. Decisions become lighter, regret becomes quicker, and you realize that you are on nobody else's timeline but your own. 
Thanks for listening to Amplify. If you are a fan of the show, show us some podcast love by giving us a rating and review. And give us a follow at Mic Drop Workshop and at Jess Extra. Coming up on Amplify. None of this is easy. There are still some days where, you know, I'll, I'll think I had a gig in, you know, right in hand and then it slips away and it's my immediate thought goes back to me. What did I do wrong? How did I mess this up and shame and all of these things, right? Those are always going to be my go-tos. I catch them a little bit before I spiral all the way down, or if I do spiral all the way down, which I still do, I get back up quicker. This episode was edited and produced by Earfluence, and I'm Jess Ekstrom, your host. Remember that you deserve the biggest stage, so let's find out how to get you there. I'll see you again soon. Bye.